Gurkha veterans from the south have told MPs they're the victims of institutional discrimination at the hands of the British government. An all-party group is examining their grievances before reporting back to Parliament. Veteran groups say thousands of ex-Gurkhas would happily return to Nepal from areas like Aldershot if they were given enough money to live on. Joe Campbell reports. In all his 20 years, Army Service Ganraj Rai have probably never had a prouder moment marching up to the Palace of Westminster to address members of the House of Commons. This is what we wanted. Uh, we wanted British general public and the politician to know how badly the Gorkhas were treated. His threat to starve himself to death had forced government's hand. Today he was joined by ex-Gurkhas from Aldershot who told how a minister had acknowledged they were a last remnant of an imperial past. He made it absolutely clear that it's because we are a colonial army. And that really shook me. It made sense. In a Gurkha regiment, the British officers and their wives are still referred to as Saabs and Memsabs. No Mrs. whatever, you know. It sounds like it's the days of the Raj. They're still living the days of the Raj. That's why they, they find it very hard to get off the high horse. Those who packed today's hearing had a hint of the MPs thinking possibly using some of the substantial aid budget for Nepal to write what the all-party group's chair accepts is a wrong. It wouldn't take very much money to give a decent pension to some of those pensioners with nothing, and those people will then be able to spend that money locally in Nepal, and I suspect that that will have a better outcome for you know, raising standards in Nepal than us writing cheques for, for big-ticket items. After today's evidence sessions, the plan is to have a debate on the floor of the House of Commons itself. The members of the all-party parliamentary group must then get down to the rather more difficult task of drafting a report which, in the words of its chair, Jackie Doyle Price, is not only morally right, but also acceptable to whoever is in Downing Street, not just now, but also after the next general election. Joe Campbell, BBC South Today, Westminster.